Welcome back and welcome to number 10. The shortest par 4 on the card. But it's tight enough just to grab your attention. So I hit a 3 wood up here. And then there's a 3 tier green just to keep you honest and make sure you hit your second shot the right distance. And the green's an absolute bugger. Some back on the past. Number 11, shortest par 3 on the card. It looks very narrow, but actually the green's quite large, so you've got no excuses for not taking enough bat and getting it well up the green. Of course, it helps if you knife it a little bit, that gets it well up the green. As we walk towards 11, we've got the 12th tee on the left, out of use at the moment. And the fairway goes up there. So number 12, I'm just hitting the uh, rescue here, get it to the corner just as I would with the driver from the property, that'll leave me about 160, 165 up the hill, and again it's the rescue again to get it up the hill, and then just to the left there is a second 12th green, where a lot of people who don't want to go up the hill just play to this shorter green. What a good idea. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about this pup. So we're at the top of the hill. Well, not really. We've got quite a long walk yet to get up to number 13. Right, number 13. Fairway slopes heavily left to right. Got to avoid the trees on the right. I kind of like overdo this, but I'm safe. Then the green itself is a little bowl, which is what I like about this hole. Just as long as you don't go left or long, the ball will gather into the centre of the green. Well, I can't say I enjoyed those first 12 holes because the greens are roped off. I've got to go round the outside and those two guys I was playing with, never met them before, they were stepping over the rope. 
so I was forever behind the play and then after we'd put it out I walked round to get the trolley again get to the tee and they've teed off I've spent 12 holes 60 70 yards behind the play as you've seen and I have not enjoyed that one bit fortunately they've uh, got off and gone to watch the rugby right 14th tee and we're out of the wind so you can hear what I'm saying here's a tee nice tee temper is there and oh my look at that hill so it's not very far over the top of that hill but you do have to get over the hill and then once you're on the other side the fairway falls it goes steeply away from you and then it falls heavily to the left so you can't exactly blow a driver over it look at those clouds yes two two to three clubs of wind now I'm getting no luck first February and now March Bloody thing's over. The old man has still got it. Number 15, a long brute of a hole. Fairway slopes to the left, so you want a little cut here just to hold against it. You know, because I don't. You know, it's funny when you stand here I had um, 178 to this flag from back there in the fairway and when you stand here and you look at how low that fairway is compared to this green and the amount of wind in my face even clubbing up to a five wood okay I hit it badly but even clubbing up to a five wood wasn't enough boy this is a long haul number 16 next 16th tee is up there and the white tee is right up on the top of that back shelf so that's going to be interesting once we get back there won't it what a view down the valley up to Cleve Hill there the highest point of Gloucestershire the top of that hill
Well, it's been hard work today. Uh, my previous club, they didn't have the greens this fast for the club championship. Never mind the 7th of March, so... Yeah, it's been hard, but we're here to learn, aren't we? God damn it! Well, we're out of the wind, sun's in my eyes, so at least I should be illuminated beautifully. Last chat before we finish. Obviously the greens are incredibly quick and they're incredibly difficult to read, especially when you're rushing and you're not lining stuff up and you're just trying to keep up with two guys who are running around the golf course. But we will get there. And I will get my handicap down if it kills me, or anyone else for that matter. There isn't a boring hole here, and there's some tough holes, certainly. Number 12 coming up the hill there, I was on in two and three jabbed it. Well, I think the first putt was more than a jab. It was like a, the Formula One going past. And 15's a real tough here as well. I suppose the only hole that you might consider a little unfair is the 14th, because you've got to get the ball up quickly, get it over the top of that hill, and then it kicks off well left and you're faced with a very difficult shot. What I'm going to have to do there, I, I think I'm going to take driver and try and hit a big cut uh, and hold it against it. Hit it real high and hold it against it. That's probably my favourite uh, shot here. Right, um, there's not much space behind this uh, temporary tee box, so you're not going to be behind me. Essentially... Um, I could hit driver here and take on this, where's my finger? See, I can take on that end tree with the driver, no problem. In fact, I could pr from here, I could probably hit the three wood over it. But I am going to choose to go at these little fir trees down here. Oh, look at that sunshine, isn't that nice? I'm gonna go at those little fir trees with a five wood and that'll leave me about 90 or 100 yards in. Um, where am I gonna put the camera? There's nowhere, to, there's nowhere to put it on this temporary. Oh. Oh well, you'll just have to trust me. Right, so I found a spot, it's sideways on. You'll get to see how ugly my swing is from the side. really pop that one up it's only just got over the road but uh, I'll have a hundred hundred and ten something like that now this is why I wear metal spikes because now I've got to go down that hill with wet muddy ground and I really don't want to go down on my arse
going to be interesting, isn't it? Actually putting out in front of the clubhouse windows. Glad I didn't three jab it with them all looking at me with a camera thinking, what's that wanker up to? Anyway, cheerio.